Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be converting from miles per hour to feet per second and vice versa, from feet per second into miles per hour, okay? Anytime you're converting units, okay, which we call uh, using dimensional analysis, you're gonna to have to use conversion factors, okay? And conversion factors are two different values uh, with the appropriate units that are equal to each other. These are equivalent. One mile is equivalent to 5,280 feet. One hour is equivalent to 60 minutes, okay? And if we write these conversion factors as ratios and use multiplication, it's like we're multiplying by one. Again, if you divide something by itself, then that has a value of one, okay? So when we convert here, we, we maintain equivalency by using these conversion factors. Now, when you write these as ratios, it doesn't matter if one mile is in the numerator or one mile is in the denominator, you still have you know, equivalent values in the top and bottom, so it's still has a value of one, okay? So you need to make a choice of, well, in which order do I need to place these in the ratio to make it work for me, okay? And that depends on what your units are and what you're converting to, okay? Now, because in this video we're going from miles per hour to feet per second, I went ahead and gave you this conversion factor, okay? We know one hour is 3,600 seconds, okay? And that's kind of a combination of these two things, all right? So one hour has 60 minutes, each minute has 60 seconds, so one hour has 60 times 60, or 3,600 seconds, okay? So let's look at example one here. We're gonna convert 60 miles per hour to feet per second, okay? So we're gonna start with 60 miles per hour. Now what we wanna have happen is we want miles to cancel out, and we wanna eventually have feet as our distance in the numerator. Eventually we want hours to cancel out, and we want seconds as our time unit in the denominator, okay? So first thing I wanna do is convert this miles to feet. So I'm gonna use these, uh, this conversion factor in ratio form, and I'm gonna multiply by 5280 feet over one mile. The reason I do that is because these miles here in the numerator will cancel out with these miles in the denominator, okay? Next thing I wanna do is get rid of hours and have seconds, okay? So I'm gonna use this conversion factor. I'm gonna multiply by one hour over 3,600 seconds. Now, I chose this order because hours is in the numerator here, hours is in the denominator here, and those will cancel out, okay? So let's show that. The miles will cancel out first, okay? Notice we're not doing anything with the values yet in either the top or the bottom, and then the hours will cancel out, okay? So if you'll notice, my units that are left over is feet in the numerator where I want them, and seconds in the denominator where I want them. Okay, so now all I have to do is multiply. I have 60 times 5280 times one, okay, which is this, divided by one times one times 3600, okay? So we're gonna do use a calculator to simplify that, and what happens is you get 88, and then my units are feet per second. So if you're driving down the highway at 60 miles per hour, you know you're moving at 88 feet per second, okay? All right, now let's go the other direction. Let's, uh, we've got 125 feet per second. We want to convert to miles per hour, okay? So we're going to use the exact same process, but our ratios are probably going to be flipped, okay? So start out with 125 feet per one second. I want to get rid of feet, okay? So I'm going to use this conversion factor again, okay? But notice I've flipped it this time. Because feet were in the numerator here, in order for them to cancel out, they had to be in the denominator of this ratio. Also, I want miles in my numerator, and that's where I have to have them. If I use the ratio that I used up here, the feet wouldn't cancel out, the miles would be in the denominator, and that wouldn't help me at all. So that's why I have to go with this ratio, all right? We wanna convert seconds to hours, so I'm gonna use this conversion factor here. So let's multiply by 3,600 seconds per one hour, again, the reason we do that, seconds are going to cancel out because they're in different parts of the fraction, and hours is in the denominator where I want them, okay? So notice again, the feet cancel out as they should, the seconds cancel out as they should, and my units that are left over are miles per hour, okay? So we multiply 125 times 1 times 3600 over 1 times 5280 times 1, all right? And when I simplify that, I get approximately 85.23 miles per hour, okay? So hopefully you're not doing this, but if you were driving down the highway at about 85 miles per hour, 
you would know you're covering about 125 feet every second, okay? So that's how you use conversion factors and dimensional analysis to convert from miles per hour to feet per second and vice versa.